Hi everybody, BT here with FXLiveDayTrading.com. I'm discussing here today on Monday, October 8th, 2012. It's Asian session and I just opened up a trade that I am going to hold overnight. And this trade is the Euro Dollar. All right, what we're looking at here is a 12 hour chart. I am using uh, different charts now in my videos to showcase some uh, different types of methods um, of day trading that can be utilized. Now, because we have seen um, an October that so far has not been like previous Octobers over the course of the last five years, that's for sure. We've seen less volume, less volatility. Stock markets are basically awaiting for this U.S. election. At least that's how it appears. As a result, I have jumped to some upper time frames and I have decreased my leverage to take some of these signals that have been coming about. This again is a 12 hour chart. I very rarely do trade above the 4 hour and in the trading room sometimes we'll go as low as the 3 minute. So what I want to mention here is we see a few things uh, setting up that tells me that we could move lower. Again, there's never a guarantee that even if everything sets up looks great that your trade is going to work out. You just never know and that is trading in a nutshell. You just what I have noticed is cutting the losers and riding the winners is probably the best methodology of trading. Of course you have to have some sort of a basic system when to get in and when to get out, yes. But for the most part there is never a guarantee. So needless to say I like to increase what I feel are my statistical um, averages in trading by utilizing certain methods. The method here is very simple. 20 period and a 5 period moving average. All right, By utilizing this, we're not reinventing the wheel here, we're just following something that has been utilized by some of the best traders in the history not only of Forex but the stock markets. You can Google this. All right, we're just do, dealing today with the 5 and 20 crossover. All right, right now we are setting up on the 12 and it looks like we're going to start to head lower look down here I have a 12.26.9 moving average convergence divergence set here and you can see that we are getting ready to cross over now I like to see the crossovers occur below this 50 mark alright so if you just move up you'll see the numbers increase and decrease okay um, the lower the crossover the better all right. In this case, okay, we crossed over here. We didn't even come up that much. The momentum has not been significant to the upside so far, at least on this last move up. And now again, looks like we're going to be crossing. So not only do I have the signals up here getting ready to line up, but I also have them down here. So I went ahead and took a short and I have a stop just right above the 130 and then you can see my target is the green line here and that is 129.03 so I'll keep you updated on this day trade that I will be holding overnight and I started this at 7.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here all right so I'll go over this in more detail in the next video so we can uh, check out and see how the outcome of this trade happened. Whether it was stopped or whether it uh, went ahead and hit target, I'm going to do a video on this tomorrow. Take care everybody and have a great day.